Hi everybody, e Powered RC here today, and we're back on the real Flight 9 Simulator, and I just wanted to go over a few other things, because I realized I didn't really go over everything you can do on the Flight Simulator. Um, this thing does have some really cool uh, um, options that you can do, and say you're new to flying. Say you're, maybe not new to flying, but say you're new to like 3D. Um, i got a 3D airplane on the screen right now. And say you want to learn how to do a new maneuver. Um, if you go to go to simulation, go to physics, and you open that up, you'll see the difficulty. You got beginner, intermediate, realistic, and then you got a custom. Um, I think uh, default is set to realistic. Um, you'll see how quick you know the plane moves and all move very fast um, just like it would in real life but let's say you want to learn how to do a maneuver let's say you want to fly behind some trees no. um, I don't think I've ever flown on this field there's so many fields out here um, tree lines very close okay so let's just say you want to learn how to do a maneuver you don't really want to learn at full speed you don't have to so go into your physics go to like custom and then this top one right here you can just drag it on 100% now let's drag it on down to like say 49 50 percent so there we go now I'm gonna go do the same thing I just did a minute ago but now you see it's in slow motion that's full wheel rod that's full speed for this plane now um, see how much slower it moves so now, you have time to react, time to do something. So, uh, as you can tell, my transmitter is up on the corner of the screen. Um, actually, you can't see that very well. Let's put it, let's put it like right there. So you can see it really good. And you can see my stick movement, see me moving my aileron elevator around, and my rudder throttle. So now, and over here in the right uh, left hand corner you see the airplane itself when it's far away it cuts on and off automatically but anyway say you wanted to learn how to do knife edge you'd want to roll the plane up knife edge and then you use your rudder stick to work as your elevator but now you're in slow motion you use the uh, elevator you push it to make the plane go right or left but everything's in slow motion now, so it gives you time to react. Um, this is actually how I learned how to do some helicopter maneuvers. Now, I pretty much already learned all my airplane maneuvers before I ever got a good enough simulator that would do all this cool stuff. Um, let's see, like hovering here, I'm doing a tail slide. You can tell now, oop, I hit the tail, but slow motion, you gotta remember you're on slow motion, but like right here, we can hover this plane, see me just giving a tiny bit of rudder, a little bit of elevator, a little bit more throttle to kind of hold it, let's turn the smoke off so we're not smoking this out, the thing about hovering is you gotta learn how to maintain that throttle you need, you need just enough throttle to hold it steady, not too much to crawl up. See, right now I've got too much because I'm going upwards. Just enough. And it's kind of a, you know, there's no set limit on any plane. You're going to have to constantly be working that throttle stick. But the thing here, slow motion, you can get your elevator, your rudder, get all your controls worked out. Now, this is just something I like to do just for fun with my airplanes is I call it the crazy wiggle dance um, but anyway now this is good practice once you learn your sticks you know on how to get it right back neutral and when you're first learning to hover the most important thing is always keep that cockpit pointed at yourself you never want the plane to be this away or heaven forbid belly towards you because right now you got to move the rudder opposite to keep it this away and just 
elevated the same thing. It's very confusing. So when you're first learning to hover, unless you're just that good and you have natural talent, you want to uh, try to bring it closer to the screen. You want to keep it mostly this way to you. And in real life, you could, you know, if the plane did move this way, you could take a couple of steps to the right. Or if it went this way, you could take a couple of steps to the left. But on a simulator, just keep it, keep it close to you. And keep it like this. And slow motion really helps. So the plane right now is trying to come back over on me. So you give a little bit of elevator forward. And just, you just input whatever input you need. Now you see people doing torque rolls and all. Now a plane, normal, a normal plane, once you get in a perfect um, thing, it will start doing this all by itself. But I like to help my planes a long way. I like to give in full left uh, aileron, which makes it just go that much faster. Again, we're in slow motion at 49.5%, so it's not going to go that fast. But this is a good way to learn your controls. Now see, if I'm doing this, I don't know if I can change it while I'm flying or not. Um, let's see. Let's go to a realistic. Yep, it did. Let me change it automatically. See, now see how much wilder it is. So we went from slow motion to this just by flipping that on and off. So now my wiggle dance looks like this. But, you see, once you get it, you learn it. You got it. And you can play with a throttle like I am. Even on a real plane, you can do that. Now most planes will not do this. This is kind of not realistic there. They will not torque roll to the right. I don't think I've ever had a plane that would go either direction. So they always want to talk this way because of the motor torque. But that shows you the difference between slow motion and real life, realistic. So again, just keep at it. Whatever maneuver you want to learn, I say learn that maneuver until you can do it without even thinking about it. Years ago, I wanted to learn how to knife edge. I told my dad, I, I said, I'm never going to learn how to knife edge. Or, there's a guy in my club, I said, he can knife edge the whole field. He would he would take his airplane. Whoops. See, the good thing about this simulator is you can hit that reset button. Now, some people I've known will keep a jar. A uh, coffee can or you know anything a cup next to their desk where they fly the simulator and every time they crash they'll put a quarter or 50 cents a dollar they'll put something in there and um, they try really hard not to have to put money in that jar so they try not to crash but I've known a few guys who said they ended up with enough money in that jar over about a month they could actually go buy them a new airplane. So I guess if you want a competition with yourself, that's a decent idea. I've never done that, but I do crash on the simulator just because I get down low and crazy, and I know it's not a real plane. I'm a lot more cautious with my real plane. But anyway, I knew a guy that could go way down here like this, all the way down in the field. He'd come flying across the field. He'd put that plane up knife edge just like this. He'd go straight down our runway, just like this, all the way down it. He wouldn't do it that low. He'd do it about 20 foot off the deck. He'd just zoom down the runway like this. And then he could actually go up and do a loop or do a roll or do something and turn back around. And he'd just flip back into knife edge again and come all the way back across. And I was always amazed at how good he could knife edge his plane and my dad just said if you really want to learn how to do it just keep practicing so that's actually a maneuver I did practice on a very old flight simulator years ago 
and I got where I could, you know, I got where my, I knew what I had to do. I had to hold that rolling this way. You got to hold left rudder to keep that plane up. You got to use that elevator to move it around. Your elevator is now your left and right. You just got to learn how much pressure to put on the stick. Every plane's different. I don't think I've ever flown two planes at knife edge the same. And now, my goal is to get where I can do decent looking four point, I call them four point Harrier rolls. So that's what I've been practicing. Every time I fly now, I do this right here. I just slowly put it in like a four point roll and I go both ways. Because I can knife edge both ways and I can do I can do uh, rolling circles like this. And this one's another one that took me quite a while to learn. And if you look at my sticks, I don't always do it the correct way. I don't always use rudder and elevator. And I'm sure a lot of guys, if they watch this video, will criticize me for that. But hey, um, I can do both of them if I really want to. I just most of the time I don't. Oh, I can, yeah, I can do one or the other. Like right there, just elevator. But you just hold, you get a, you find a good speed you want your aileron set at. I'm actually on high rates now. So if I, well, it didn't look like a chain. Normally I can go to low rates. But you just hold that stick. And you just inverted, you go, you know, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the whole thing is trying to do it just enough to keep the plane going around in a circle. Every time you want to turn the plane, you can give a little bit more. If I'm headed this direction, now I want to turn, I'll give more elevator, and I do a U-turn. And then on my straight lines, I barely have to give any at all. But I can also stop doing elevator, and I can start doing rudder only. I go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right just continuously do it and then same thing when I want to make a turn I do it put a more input in for my turn again this would be a great one to slow the speed down to where you can really tell what the plane's doing um, I don't know if I can do it while I'm still flying physics and then go back to custom and I'm going to crash but that's okay um, Actually, I didn't. I'm gonna hit the tree line. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay. So we now we slowed it down. Take off. Start rolling. Go left, right, left, right. Just it's all about timing. That's all it is. And if you got if you start messing up, head for the ground. You know really fast. You just keep at it. You gotta figure out how much you need. And then once you get it down, it's all about finger movements. So, honestly, I haven't practiced my four pointers with simulation turned down. I ought to. You see how slow this plane's going now? But you just. I'm trying to stop the plane, for, pause it for a second. Ooh, simulation slow down kind of confuses too. But once you get that movement, you just want that little bit of movement there. This plane tucks in uh, one direction. I think it's at this point here. It kind of tucks to the inside. So you have to give down elevator at that point to keep it straight. You just just roll it, give the right input. Ooh, we're behind some trees. And um, so that's my pointer today. My insight to the simulator. I know there's some guys out there right now. I'm not going to mention anybody's names. They're on uh, the groups I follow. That is trying to learn how to do some of the maneuvers. I hope they see the. I hope they see this video. 
and I hope it helps them. Uh, make sure you get a good airplane that will do that. There's hundreds of uh, airplanes on this simulator, but they all fly different. Now this is one of the new ones um, that they came up with. This is called the 50% Edge 540BH. It is on the Knife Edge site if you want to go download it. It is a good plane. It flies well. Uh, my other favorite plane right now would have to be, I love the color scheme on that one, but I know you guys can't really see the colors all that great. I got a little bit of a glare, um, but it would have to be the extra um, 300 um, not that one the BA extra 330 SA BA and they have three different colors of it but I just love the way this plane flies and uh, I know I got slow motion on right now <laughs> I got a smoker. This plane knife edge is really good. Really does everything well. But yeah guys, I hope somebody out there enjoyed this video. I hope it helps someone out there. And uh, if you have any questions or if you would like to see any specific video on any certain maneuver that I know how to do, I will be glad to do a video on it. I do not mind. If you need any other tips or anything about flying, just leave me a comment below and I will be sure to answer your question and get back to you as soon as I can. I try very, very hard on my channel to answer every single question that is posted. But, every now and again, I don't see the question for a day or two because I don't get my notification about it for whatever reason. Um, so, I do apologize to those that t it takes me a couple of days to get back to. But I do try very hard to get back to everyone on my channel that leave me a comment. So, I appreciate every one of you. Thank you for being here, and we'll catch you on the next one. Happy flying.